Welcome back to my ADS channel. Today we'll be looking at um, the technique for converting a single band band pass filter into a triple band band pass filter. Uh, in our last video, we looked at how we can convert from single band to dual band. Today we was we we're extending the knowledge to a triple band band pass filter. You need to know that this is basically um, the same approach. We just need to extend the number of pools uh, that we we convert to achieve a triple band filter. Uh, can I, at this point, encourage us to um, just subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, as I will be bringing you uh, numerous um, techniques to achieving uh, your design using the ADS uh, software, the Advanced Design System software. So let's get started with uh, with today's activity. Now, the first thing you need to do is um, um, open ADS on your system. So just log into ADS. And um, here I have my ADS and I have a single band, band pass filter. You can see that we'll have three poles. That is pole number one, pole number two, and pole number three. So this filter, basically uh, has a center frequency of 3 gigahertz as we are going to see uh, if we run the simulation so at the moment if i simulate this design uh, and plot my results you will see here that i have if i plot uh, my results you see that i have a single uh, single band band pass filter with center frequency at 3.0 so I'm going to save this design and close this window. Now I need to convert this design to a triple, uh, um, a triple band band pass filter. So all I need to do, as we did before in our previous lesson, is to just copy um, uh, uh, two of the poles. Copy two of the poles. Okay. I do Control C, then Control V. Now, I'll have to paste uh, this over here. So I'll paste this here. And then uh, uh, for the second band, that, for, that's for the first band. Uh, for the second band, I need to uh, paste this here. Let's just um, put it here. Okay, so I have, I have this, this bit here. And I have the third one for the third band. I'm going to have this, let's say, here. Okay, escape. Now I have, um, I've extended this. Uh, I have one, two, three, which will give me uh, my trip. Uh, each of these will give me a single band. Now I have one, two, three. One, two, three. And the third pole. So I'm going to connect the first two poles here to that pole to make one band and the second two poles here to the middle pole here and the third two poles here to the middle pole. That gives me a total of nine poles, three poles on each band. So all I need to do now is connect. Uh, connect from here up to this point and again connect from there. To that point, then connect this one here. To that point, escape. So now I've linked it. So I have one, two, three for one band, one, two, three for the second band, and one, two, three for the third band. Now everything is sorted because i retain um the parameters for the middle pole as i've as i did in my previous lesson so all i did now is just click on simulate you can see now that i have uh, a triple um triple band band pass filter with each band having three poles so this is a simple technique you can extend this knowledge to um, as many bands as possible 
by simply copy, paste, and um, make changes of the parameters if need be. I hope you've learned something new. Um, uh, I mean, you should be able to convert to achieve as many bands as possible using this same technique. Thank you for watching, and I hope to bring you another video in a, in a, in a distant time. Thanks and bye for now.